الو السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام يا برادر اي ام اي ام سانوار ماي نيم از سانوار اي ام فروم بنغلاديش اي ام ا مسلم سو هاو ار يو ام فيري فاين But I am, I'm really surprised, my friend, that you said to me, Assalamu Alaikum. I thought, according to Islam, you should not say to me, Assalamu Alaikum, as you know. Uh, okay. So, is so it you, mentioned in the Quran? Is there any parts of the Glorious Quran that uh, I should not say, Assalamu Alaikum, to the non Muslims? Oh, well, this in the Hadith. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Uh, there is a uh, huge uh, disputation of this issue because some of the scholars they said uh, that it's allowed and uh, the hadith is regarding to a particular group of people who replied assalamu alaikum who replied assalamu alaikum means uh, death be upon you so ah, uh, some of the uh, Christ, Jews and Christians ah, but your prophet he did not say to some people he said in the hadith don't initiate salam to the Christians and the Jews all of them he did not say some No, this is how this is how the scholars they have explained. It. Yeah, you see, your scholars. Oh, okay, my friend. If, if, uh, okay, my friend. If I say something to you, shouldn't, uh, sh shouldn't you say to me, uh, give me the proof? Yeah. Hello. Okay. If I say something to you, shouldn't you say to me, give me the proof of what you are saying? So when the scholars they say something, they have to show the proof. They have they fail, so they are fabricating things, you know. Now, uh, uh, let us say. Because uh, some he said uh, some on you as you as you claim, but Muhammad he did not say as a response, don't initiate to those who say that to you salam. He said don't initiate salam to anyone who's a Christian or a Jew. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So the the the, the okay, explanation so, uh, of, of the scars is false. Now yeah, let us okay, so let us go to the, the, the more serious topic. Call. Okay, you call me for what reason, my friend? What do you want to say to me? Hello. Hello. Yeah, what do you want to say to me? You, you call me for what reason exactly? What do you want to say? You will, we have almost three, uh, 1,300 yeah, people listening. Yeah, hmm. yeah I am interested in discussing, so I want to learn something new. All right. Uh, because I have discussed so many, uh, I uh, talk to so many Christians and uh, of my friends. There are so many Christians of my friends. So uh i'm a student you okay? said you have I'm a friend student and 20 mm. years old i'm a young mm. boy so i i'm interested in discussing learn, learning something mm. you just so said one of my friends he mm. gave me uh, your number brother so i can ask you uh, regarding to islam any question that uh, how uh, islam is false or how quran is false so mm. this is what my friend said to me so that is why i called uh, you mm. to teach me something about uh, how quran is false Or how Islam is false. Okay, let us do this. Give me something you think Islam make make it make it uh, truthful to you, and I will destroy it. Anything. Uh, brother, I, I cannot hear clearly. One minute. One, once again. Uh, let me take my earphone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. So now I can hear. Yeah. Uh, Give me something. You think it's powerful to prove Islam to be from God, and I will destroy it. As long as this is your request, to show you Islam is false. Give me the most powerful thing for you, make you believe yeah. that Muhammad is a prophet. Go ahead. Okay, so first, first of all, I want to say that, uh, I, I want to ask a question. So we, we Muslims, we believe that Islam is not a uh, new religion. We believe that Islam means submission to the will of God. Hmm. So Islam, all the Muslim, all the prophets, they were Muslims. Hmm. They submitted to the will of God, and their religion was Islam. So Islam is not a new religion. It is not a. Uh, this is what we believe. So, what's your opinion about this? First of all, the uh, Islam does not mean submission. Islam means surrender. If you go to chapter forty-eight in the Quran, chapter uh, verse number, uh, uh, as an example, sixteen. Uh, And chapter 49 verse number 14 you will see the Quran saying clearly that they say we are Muslims what is the word there is surrender yeah so Islam does not mean does not mean submission this is a false and I even I heard the Christian saying that but I understand the Christians they are learning from Muslim what they say so they say eh, Islam means submission the fact nowhere the Quran says Islam means submission it's mean to surrender so 
say to the Muslim, to the to the Arab, say to the the who to the Bedouin, the Arab, the Arab. If you don't convert to Islam, we are going to come and kill you unless you surrender. All right. So if Islam is a good religion from uh, from God, why Muhammad making a threat to the Arab saying if you don't convert to Islam, you are going to fight people who are of, of, of mighty war and we are going to force you to surrender yeah. anyway. So Islam does not mean surrender. And then you, I, I will say to you, if those people, they surrender and now they say we surrender. But, uh, we are Muslims. So are they Muslims really? Uh, okay, I want to share one verse uh, regarding this issue. Chapter chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 208. It is mentioned that, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu bkhulu fi silmi kafa. Hmm. Okay, Amanu Bhulu fi Silmi Kafa. So hmm. the word uh, the word Islam, the root word of Islam is Silmi. Okay, hmm. Sil means submission and uh, it also comes from the word Salam, means peace. Hmm. Okay. So uh can, can, Islam can I answer you? means acquiring peace by submitting to the will of God. Okay, this can, is what Islam means. Okay, can, okay. And, uh, okay, let me explain, please explain to me chapter two, verse number two hundred and eight. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Telling yeah, I will explain. That, yeah, you are Latina, I'm an, yeah, okay, my friend, my friend, let me, give me a chance to answer you. You just you just said something very funny and destroy Islam. You yourself, not me, because you just said, oh, you believe, enter into Islam. They are believers already. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid uh, statement. Brother, please, my friend, my friend, can you explain no, the verse? I, I'm, I'm explaining, I'm explaining, explain I'm, I'm, I'm explaining the verse you gave me. It says, oh, who you believe, enter into Islam. They are believers. So how they can enter into Islam? Okay. Yeah, they are, uh, this verse is talking about the believers, of course. No, 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 no. It says enter. He's asking them to enter into Islam. But it says, oh, who you believe. Yeah. So did they believe or don't believe? If they believe, it's already the are Muslim. So the, the phrase is stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's like saying, oh, Christians believe in Jesus. You know, oh, they, yeah. they are Christians. They believe in Jesus. That's why we call them Christians. So the verse you gave me, showing me that the one who wrote the Quran is a drunk and he is taking hashish. Secondly, if Islam means peace, as you say, this is a psalm. You see the Muslim translated as Islam. Islam in Arabic, it means to surrender, which means the opposite of, of Salam, because Salam is the coming from the word Shalom or Shlama in the Arabic word to Islam. We will kill you unless you surrender. And then I, if I ask you, my friend, uh, uh, if I ask you, if if you yeah, convert okay. to Islam, I, if you want... th those people who converted to Islam in this verse, verse number, uh, chapter 24, uh, 48, verse number 16, if they converted to Islam by forcing them to convert to Islam, are they considered Muslims? No, no, it's not another topic. No, 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 this is not another topic. My friend, I'm asking you a very simple question. Don't, don't skip, please. Don't skip. You see, I'm speaking to you as an adult. Let us speak as adult. Give me one minute. Okay, no, no, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm asking you. I want the answer. I want the answer. I want the answer. Those who you force them, this verse is speaking about forcing those who you force them to convert to Islam according to the verse. Are they Muslims? If they say Shahada. Okay, you know that forcing is absolutely prohibited in the Quran chapter 2, verse number 255, like Rahabuddin. Hmm. There is no compulsion in religion. Okay, hmm. we shall. We shall no, we no, 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 no. First of all, no, first of all, first of all. First, first of all. No, 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 don't escape, don't escape. You, you can't escape with me. You, you know you are calling Christian Prince, you can't escape. The verse you call me is about that the Christians and the Jews, they cannot force their children not to convert to Islam, not the opposite, because your prophet says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. So how there is no complosion in religion, and then... You are quoting a verse, brother, you are quoting a verse, chapter 9, verse number 31. I shall explain this verse, I shall explain. I, can, I know the answer of this question, no problem. Mm. Uh, so, but my, my point was that you have said that the Allah is telling in this verse, the believers uh, to enter into Islam. So, so my, my point is, Iman and Muslim, there is a huge difference between the word Iman and uh, is a Muslim, okay? Mm. There is a huge difference because iman mm. the iman has not entered in their heart, mm. okay? So mm. uh, they are Muslim. They say we are Muslim, but the iman has not entered. So there is a difference between iman and Muslim, okay? Mm. 
So in this in this verse, uh, chapter uh, chapter two, verse number two hundred and twenty-eight, it is mentioned. Yeah, John Latina Amanu Bhulu Silmi Kappa Amanu Bhulu Inter Tisil Sil means fully submission in full submission mm. in the state of and what is the penalty so what is the penalty if okay what is the penalty what if those people do not enter into islam what will happen this is another question this is another topic you see you are escaping because now you are, I, but this I is showing me this is showing me you are not calling really to discuss you are going to going to escape uh, issues so you are the one who says Islam mean peace and mean submission. And the second I say to you, if those people they don't want to enter Islam, what will happen to them? You don't want to answer that because the answer is going to be killing them. So Islam is not peace, oh, as you claim. Not. Your prophet, did your prophet say? Did your did, did, did your prophet did your prophet says did your did your prophet says Aslam Taslam? Did your prophet says Aslam Taslam? Aslam Taslam. Did he say Aslam Taslam? What? What Aslam Taslam mean? Why Quran only? Are you a Quran only person? Are you a Quran only person? Or you take Hadith too? Yeah, we shall discuss about Hadith also. No problem. So your prophet, your prophet, he said, okay, your prophet says, convert to Islam, you will be safe. What does that mean? What? What? Convert to Islam. Your prophet, he sent the message to the Hercules, the Hercules. The, the king of the Romans saying to him, convert to Islam, you will be safe. Safe from what? Yeah, convert to Islam, you will be saved from the hellfire. It may be, this is the hadith referring to, I don't well, know. Well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a good lie, my friend. That's a good lie because Muhammad, he ordered you to do jihad against the Christian who don't believe in Allah. So embrace Islam, you will be saved. You are talking, you are talking to who? Talking to a king. He sent a threat to him. And then we will find the answer for your lie. And sorry to say the word lie because you are lying now. Isn't it your prophet? He says, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. Oh, this is not what the prophet said. Okay, let me share what the prophet said. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are accusing me. Hold on. No, no, this is the prophet. This is what the prophet said. This is what the prophet said. Prove me a liar. Here we go. You just said this is not what the prophet said. So you are saying I'm lying. Here we go. You're a prophet saying. I've been ordered to commanded to kill all mankind unless they say I am a prophet and Allah is God. Why you are lying, okay, my friend? Let me explain this. this no, no, let me explain this. Hadith. The prophet said, said mm. I have been commanded to fight against, to fight or to strike against uh, those who don't believe. Okay, what is meant by it? To fight and to strike, not by killing people. It is, it is intellectual fight. It is a logical, reasonable fight. For example, let me give an example. Uh, for example, so in another hadith, it has been explained. Okay, so here, hadith number 6871. It is mentioned mm. that narrated Anas ibn Malik, the prophet said that the biggest sin, the greatest sin, mm. uh, Kovira, uh, Kovira sin, the greatest sin is to join others as partners in worship with Allah, mm. to murder a human being. Mm. Second number is to murder any human being. Mm. Okay. Third number is to be undutiful to one's parent. And fourth number is to make a false statement. This is a so uh, Bukhari hadith number six eight seven one. So in this hadith, mm. the prophet is telling that to murder any human being means mm. to kill any innocent people is mm. absolutely prohibited. Okay, mm. let me give uh, one one verse of the Quran, chapter 20, 25, verse number sixty eight. Mm. Allah is telling that Walladina Laya Dhuna Mahallahi Lahan Akhur Wala Yakutuluna Nafsan Lati Haram Allah. Okay? They don't kill any soul hmm. except cause. What is the cause? Anna nafsa bin nafsi wal aina bil aina wan this is the cause that uh, 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 this is the ransom for killing a prisas. This is called prisas. Wala kum fil prisas hayatu ya ulil alma bil alla kum tarbalun. So the prophet is telling that to kill any innocent people is absolutely prohibited. And if anyone kill any innocent people, he killed as to the whole of humanity. Chapter five, verse number thirty-two. Hmm. Okay. Are you done? So. Uh, Are you done? So. Are you done? So now, uh, no, uh, give me a half minute, okay, half minute, uh, no. uh, let me finish. So uh, in the Quran, the parts regarding to war, this is defensive war, 
this is not offensive war. For example, chapter two. The, the, uh, okay, you are reading for me an article. Okay, okay my friend, you are one. you are reading an article. You, this is what you do. You open an article, you start reading. Let me show everybody in two seconds that you are lying, my friend. With my respect to you, you are a liar. The, the hate in front of me. It says, Allah Messenger said, I have been ordered to fight the people. Till they say, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And if they do so, pray like us, face the Qibla, slaughter as we slaughter, then their blood and their property will be suckered from us. So look at the big fat lie you just did yourself. Everybody will be laughing at you later on the internet for what you just said. You said to us that the Prophet been ordered not to do the following, not to kill innocent people. Your Prophet, he did kill millions of people. Your Prophet is the biggest slaughter machine ever. What is the guilt of those innocent people? According to you, you said you cannot kill. Oh, no, so shut up. Okay. Don't, talk, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Let me. I give you the time to talk. Oh, Let me talk. Okay. okay. Listen. So you said innocent people in Islam. Innocent is only those who believe in Allah and the hate in front of you. So those who don't believe in Allah, they are guilty. Why? Because they did not believe in Allah. So they are being to be killed. And when your prophet says, I've been commanded to fight all. He is not fighting those who are fighting him. Is fighting those who don't worship Allah. This is why if we go to chapter 9, verse number 29, it says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Those who what? Don't believe in Allah. From who? From the Christians and the Jews. For what is the, what is the guilt they did? For not believing in Allah, then you kill them and you slaughter them. And if they want to live, they have to pay you money protection money, mafia, gang leader. So fight against those who believe not in Allah. Do you see where it says those who they are fighting you? No, those are the Christians. They are not fighting him. They never fought him. Actually, they gave him refugee. But Muhammad, as usual, he's a coward. He go there to their house, he eat their food, and then he want to kill them. So fight those who don't believe in Allah, number one. Nor the last day. Okay, so they don't believe in Allah and the last day, kill them too. Nor forbid what is forbidden by Allah. So if you don't forbid what Allah forbid, then we will kill you too. And then those who acknowledge that not the religion of truth, which is Islam. So you are lying to us saying that innocent person, the Quran says that if you don't kill innocent people, the fact this verse you quote for me is not even for the Muslims. This is what Allah said to Musa. This is from the command, the Ten Commandment of God he gave to Musa. You should not murder. So you Muslims, you claim something, the Quran proved the opposite. Secondly, let me ask you, if a child, he is not, he's a Muslim. He did not commit sin. Can you kill him in Islam? He's a Muslim. Remember, he's a Muslim. Okay. Can you kill him in Islam? He's a I child. He's a child and he's a Muslim. Can you kill him in Islam? No, no, no. Uh, what's the question? I could not understand. If a child, he uh, leaves Islam. Does it, is it a question? No, if a child, he did not do anything yet, okay. and he's a Muslim, he's a, he's, a, he's a son of a Muslim family, and he's a Muslim, can you kill him? Is that legal to kill a child, he is a Muslim? No. No, are you sure? Not only Muslim. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so I want you to open the Quran with me, and everybody will start laughing at your no. Isn't it your God in the Quran says? <laughs> Hold on. Isn't it your God in the Quran, he said? that there is a child who commit no sin and he was a slaughter yes or no by which allah verse, order which verse which verse brother uh can you give me like a week to find it yeah sure of course of course hmm. chapter 18 verse number 74 i, I, I want to answer Chapter 18, uh, verse number I 74. I was joking with you. I was, jo I was joking with you. I was joking with you. Chapter 18, verse number 74. Read it. Chapter 18, verse number 74. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay. One minute. Yeah. Hatta idha laqiya gulaman. It is talking about uh, about uh, Khizir alayhi wasallam. Khizir alayhi wasallam. This is a miracle that he knew the future and he understood the future that this child will be uh, in the future. The, this child uh, will cause corruption. 
Okay, mm. and that's why he was informed by Allah. Mm. And this is a, a this is a huge story. Okay, this is a story mm. of Musa between Musa alayhi wasallam and Khizr alayhi wasallam. Okay, uh, before going the, uh, to this story, uh, I want to share. I want no, 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 no. Hold on, 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 hold on. Everybody, everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Hold on, guys. Did he say that Allah? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me that we should not kill an innocent person. Who is an innocent person? A person who did not commit a crime yet, correct? Yeah, of course. Okay. Did did this guy commit a crime? No, of course not. I so not you are you are killing him for a crime he did not do. So look, look, look. You are the one who said. You are the one who said there is no complosion. Hold on. You are the one who said there is no complosion in religion, and you don't force things on people. And people they do as they wish. The verse saying, even the verse saying that he is an innocent person. And look what you said. You said Allah informed Al Khadr that this is a person will do in the future. So are we going to kill all the children today who tomorrow they will be bad? Is that the justice of Islam? Before you do bad, we will take you to, to slaughter machine. In the, in, the, okay, in the top okay. of that, in the top of that, okay. you say, Allah I info, all the... Okay. No, no, hold on, hold on. If you give me time, I shall... I will, I will give, I, okay, I will give you time. And Musa is a prophet too, correct? Yeah, of course. Of okay, course. so how come Musa is the prophet? He do not know what Khadr the prophet he know. Allah hide that from him? Uh, he hide from Musa alayhi wasalam, but he informed to uh, to Khizr alayhi wasalam. Mm. Uh, what is the reason? Because the reason is Musa alayhi wasalam said that I am I am the best of know. Uh, that means I know. I, uh, one man asked Musa alayhi wasalam that who is the knowledgeable person at the uh, uh, at the present time. So he said I am. So that's why Allah informed him that there is a person, there is a servant of mine mm. that he knows. More than you. So that is why the Musa alayhi wasalam, was traveling mm. to find out this person to know something from him. Mm. Okay. That so now, so what Musa has learned, what Musa has learned, okay, what Musa, what Musa has, okay, let, I'm going to go with you. Hold on. I'm going to go with you. What is the wisdom of this stupidity that a child, he will be bad in the future. I'm going to kill him now. What is the wisdom of that? Go ahead. Okay, I shall answer this question. I already said, my dear brother. Uh, let me answer. Let me answer the past point. No, no, you did not answer. No, no. I'm asking you, what is the wisdom? Yeah. Because you said that because he is teaching Musa. Don't, don't, don't change. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You are driving to one. Don't change. To don't change okay. the topic. Don't. So, please, we are adult. Don't change the topic. You said that Musa is learning from Al Khadr. Yeah. Okay, what now? Musa he learned that if we see a child. And we think he will do something bad in the future. We should kill him now. Is that what you are saying? Yeah, he was in trouble. Okay. So he now, what Musa has learned from this? What Musa has learned from this? Okay, you are saying to me he is teaching this Musa is just, something. This is just a miracle. My friend, uh, you are saying to me he is, is teaching he is teaching Musa something. So now Musa he will go in the street, and if you look at the child and he don't like how he look like, he will slaughter him because he learned that from Khadr. No, we don't know the Khodor. We uh -huh. don't know. Okay. He's, he was a prophet. He's in Alayhi Yisrael was a prophet. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't know the future. The prophet, Almighty God, informed mm -hmm. the future to the prophet, not only to not to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me let me clarify this verse. Let me in the in the second part of this verse, uh -huh. it is mentioned that um, Allah, Allah, who said Musa alayhi salam said mm. Aqatal ta nafsan zakiyyatan bighayri nafsin mm. Musa alayhi salam con condemned him and Musa alayhi salam said that have you committed a, uh, you, you have committed a uh, grave sin he, Musa alayhi salam is telling, uh, telling to uh, Khizr alayhi salam that you have committed a grave sin because he is an innocent child but you have killed him mm. so what's the reason? Hmm. So later on, later on, he was informed okay. that this is a miracle. He was informed that this child will make corruption on the land in the future when he will, hmm. he will be, uh, he will be uh, adult. Hmm. This is, this is not, uh, we, we don't Okay, okay, I will go, I will go with you. I will go, I will go with you. I will go with you. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name, my friend? What's your name? What's your name?
My name is Samar from Samar. I am from Bangladesh. Uh, All right. Australia. Okay, my friend, I will go with you. Just you, everybody will be laughing again at what you said. You said that this child he will do in the future corruption. So you in Islam believe that a person he will be judged and killed before even he do the crime, and that is supposedly the miracle. I want to go with you just to show you the stupidity of your cult. But isn't it your prophet who said that a person who do the deed of hellfire because of Allah's destiny? Okay, that is a very good question. Let me answer this question. Mm. If you give me time, I shall answer this question. Yeah. Inshallah. Mm. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so we know, that we know that Allah knows the future, the past, future, and present. Everything He knows the future. Mm. So, what I am going to happen, I am, uh, I shall uh, do in the future. Mm. Allah knows. This is called Qadr. We believe in Qadr. Qadr mm. means predetermined. Mm. So before the creation of the heavens and the earth, before the creation of the universe, mm. 50,000 years ago, Allah wrote everything. So why? Because he knows. Okay. But he has given us freedom of choice. Mm. That's why we cannot blame him. Because he has given us freedom of choice. But he knows the future. That is why he knows that this child will make corruption. He knows it because Allah knows the future. Okay. That is why Allah informed Khizir that this child will make corruption when he will be adult. This is a miracle. This is not general term. This is not general. All term. Right. We cannot use this, okay. this issue uh, for all time. This is let, us, let us stop here. Let us stop here, please. The predestiny. Is it the predestiny about Allah knowing what will happen or he decide to you what will happen? He knows what will happen in the future. So he decide. He don't. He don't. He don't. He don't decide. So he, so he don't. Decide to, there is the present. There is the past. There is the future in the sight of Almighty God. Okay. So when you when you commit when you commit adultery. Okay. okay hold on. When you commit adultery, okay. is that something Allah forced you to do, or you choose to do adultery? Uh, it is not adultery. There are four things is written when we are in This the is not the question, my friend. Why Muslims always they play this game? Are you trying to are you trying to be are you trying to be like Zakir Naik? I ask you about the East, you answer about the West. I'm asking you a very simple question. If somebody commit adultery, is he choosing to do adultery or Allah forcing him to do adultery? Of course not. Allah, I, I, of course not I what? If, is it Allah is forcing me to if, do adultery? Of course not. So Allah did not force you to commit it's adultery. Not, okay, guys, Allah do not force you to commit Allah, adultery. Okay, I want you to read the hadith in front of you. Go ahead. Read the hadith. Read, read the hadith. Hold on. Hold on. See, talk is a cheap. Talk is a cheap. You talk too much, you say nothing. Read the hadith in front of you. You said Allah do not force you to commit adultery. The mic, the mic is yours. Read the hadith in front of you. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Read it. Read it. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. I showed you a hadith on the screen. I want you to read it, please. Go ahead. Read it for us. Yeah. 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 yeah please show me the hadith. Please show me the. Hadith. Yeah, it's in the screen already. Yeah. One minute. Uh. <laughs> I am not getting. Oh, okay, please read to me. Please read. Uh, no, my friend, you are getting it. Come on, refresh your page. You will see it. Ref refresh your page. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm waiting. Go ahead. I mean, you see it, but you don't want to read it, right? It's, emb it's embarrassing. It's exposed all the lies you told me. Yeah, please read to me or give me the Read it, read it. It's in front of you. No, I want you to read it. No, I want you to read it. Go ahead. Yeah, please uh, give me, give me. Or... It's in the screen. Read it. I'm not getting in the screen, brother. Sorry for that. Uh, okay, I will read it for you. You, you, you insist, okay? okay. Sahih Muslim, hadith please number Sahih uh, Muslim, Sahih Muslim, hadith yeah, number 2657B. 2657B. Letter B. 
letter B. The Prophet said, the Messenger of Allah said. So he must have two six five. Allah said, read for us. Go ahead. Find it. Yeah, let me find out. One second. Let me find out in Google. I'm searching in Google. Okay. If you are in the chat, in the YouTube, click at the link. They are posting it for you. Two six five seven B, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hmm. The book of destiny, okay. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which man will indulge in, okay, indulge in, and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of, uh, of the eye is lustful look. The adultery uh, of the tongue is, okay, I have read the hadith, okay? Okay. So what is the question? Does it say that this is a sin you must commit? You must, it's a necessity to commit? And Allah, he wrote that for you? Okay, okay, okay. So, so uh, let me explain it. Let me explain it because mm. there are so many hadith. The prophet said that don't commit adultery or fornication. It is absolutely for you. There are several hadiths. Okay. So what is meant by this hadith? Okay. Mm. This hadith means that Allah has given us the organ and He has given us the freedom of choice. So if it says that in this hadith, guys, guys, in this hadith, in this hadith, it says Allah gave us a freedom of choice. He says Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery for which a man will indulge. And then it's which is in necessity he have to commit. So Allah, he wrote for you how much adultery you will do. And you are saying to me, free of a choice. I mean, are you crazy? So, so, so uh, do, uh, are you t t uh, telling that there are several hadiths I can show you from Bukhari and Muslim? I don't care. I don't care. Your prophet is a crazy man, my friend. Your prophet is a crazy man. That's not a question. Don't tell me there's other hadith. Here we go. Your prophet saying that you must. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. To, to make it simple. No, no. To make it simple. To make it simple. To make it simple. No, hold on. When Adam he commits sin, did Adam Allah force him to commit sin, or Adam he chose to commit sin? No, this is not because we are talking about destiny. We are talking about destiny because we are talking about the destiny of that child who was killed. He's an innocent person. Allah is the one who will make him do bad. And now before he do bad, he is killing him, which is stupid. So I'm asking you now, when Adam commits sin, did Allah force him to commit sin or Adam had a free choice to do or not? Adam had That's why Adam said, Okay, so so you are accusing your you are accusing your prophet. So you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. Hold on. No, 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 no. You are accusing your prophet to be a liar. No, you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. Thank you very much. Showing us that the religion of Islam is a religion of contradiction and stupidity. Because the the Muhammad he said that Adam and Moses, they have a debate. And Moses says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. You cannot deny them, say they are not very weak. They are very authentic. And then Adam, he says to him, are you accusing me of doing something which Allah, he wrote for me 40 years before my creation? 40 years before what? Before my creation. And then your prophet, he says, well, and this is how Moses, he lost the argument with Adam. So Allah, he here, the law prophet saying, before Moses, before Adam was created, Allah decide for him to commit sin. And Adam saying to Moses, are you blaming me for doing this? When Allah, he ordained this for me 40 years before he created me. What do you answer for this? Yeah, that's a very good question. Mm. I can answer this question, inshallah. Mm. So uh, the answer is mentioned in the greatest Quran itself. 
Okay, chapter two, verse thirty. Allah is telling that why the corner of book alil malaika te inni jailun fil arude khulifa, not fil jannati khulifa. Allah is telling to the remember when Allah told us to the angels that I am going to create by servant or human beings on the fil arude, not in jannah. So the question is, why did He allow to stay in jannah? This is the question. So why did okay. I ask that to a, to a Muslim friend of mine or to a, to an Imam also? I asked this question that yeah. Allah said that He is going to create human beings on the earth, not in Jannah. So why was it necessary to uh, to say to Adam that dwell in Jannah? Why? Because because every, we know we know Allah knows the future. And future, everything is planning of Allah, and nothing because nothing occurs except the knowledge of Allah. So let me explain this. So uh, because when Adam, uh, okay, the, the question arises arise that if Adam said that it is Allah who forced me to do so, why did he not say that Oh Allah, you have forced me to do this thing that is why why shall i uh, shall i uh, seek forgiveness but this is not the question of adam this is not what adam said adam said person i have committed sin so so my uh, the question is that if adam he understood or he knew that allah has done this he has forced me to do so then why did he not say oh allah you have forced me to do so why shall i seek forgiveness this is my question. Okay, are you done? So my friend, do you know how to read? Do you know how to read or you are literate like your prophet? It says here, yet you blame me for a thing which Allah had ordained for me before he created me. So can we blame Adam for his sin or we cannot? No, we cannot. Why? Because this is not his choice. Because if it is a choice, then we can blame him. But if it's not his choice, then so we it, cannot blame it, him. My my question was my question was if it is not the choice of Adam, then why did he seek forgiveness? This is the question. He said. Okay, I, I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you, guys. Why 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 he seek forgiveness? That is a stupid statement to say because if Allah, if you, if Musa has been schooled by Adam saying to me to him, you cannot blame me for a thing which Allah has ordained for me. And the one who's saying that is your prophet. That's mean your prophet is an idiot. He says something in the Quran. He said the opposite in the Hadith because we cannot blame uh, 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 Adam for his sin. No, so why Adam he need to ask for? Hold on. Why Adam he need to be forgiven from his sin when he did not choose to do his sin? Because do, do you see what your prophet says? Yet you blame me for a thing which Allah had ordained for me. So you cannot blame me for something out of my control. Do you agree? Okay. So okay. I, no, I shall explain it. All. Okay. So you cannot blame Adam for what? For disobeying Allah. What is the excuse? How you can blame me for something Allah decided for me before He created me? He decided for me. So the predestiny you are talking about is not about Allah knowledge. You are lying, my friend. It's about Allah fixing a destiny for you, which you should do. Okay. Okay. Can so I then, give an example to explain. No, don't give an example. The, the hadith in front of you. Uh, the hadith in front of you. You see, you are trying to. This is what you must. You, 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 you try to avoid. You see. No, you did not know the explanation. Uh, you already, you already, uh, you, you already gave me false uh, answer. Uh, you already gave me false answer. Let me make it simple for you. If a child he die, he commit no sin. He go to heaven or to hell. I don't know. What do you mean, don't know? What is the logic? I don't know where shall I, I well, shall go, uh, heaven or hell. I don't know. No, no, I'm asking you. The logic, the logic. The logic. Okay, the according to Islam, a person who commits sin, he go to heaven or to hell? Yeah, if a person commits sin, but he seek forgiveness. Okay, letter, no problem. But this is a child. This forgiven. is a child. This is a baby. This is a baby. He don't know even how to talk. So it, it depends on what kind of sin. My friend, this is a baby. This is a baby. A baby. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are you are a copy paste machine, my friend. You are a copy. All look like all those Muslims who come from Bangladesh. They are the same, like Sabir and etc. Listen, listen to me carefully before you open your mouth. I'm saying a baby, a child who don't talk. What sin? He did not commit any sin. Where he will go? To hell or to heaven? 
let us say a, a Muslim he have a child he is uh, five days old uh, one month old uh, one year old he died where this child will go Jannah, he will go to Jannah. Thank you very much. Just everybody, just everybody will yeah. see in a second. Okay, guys, did you hear him saying he will go to Jannah? Here you see that Muslims are very confused people because they have a very false prophet. Islam is a joke. Here we go, you're a prophet, saying it clearly that a child he might go to hell because Allah, he determined where every soul will be before he created them. So if he commits sin or not, doesn't matter. Here, Muhammad, he went to a funeral and he took with him Aisha. And then when in the way they are coming back, Aisha, she said, oh, this child, he is an innocent child. He commit no sin and he did not even reach the age of sin. So Aisha said, as you said, he will go to heaven. What Muhammad said, he said, Aisha, don't be stupid. He might go in the other place, which means to hell. Read carefully with me. Hadith number, Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2662C. Allah Messenger and people, they will post it for you in the chat so you can open it from your side. Aisha, she said, who said Aisha, not me. After the funeral of a child from Al-Ansar, so they are very Muslim. Allah Messenger, she said to him, there is a happiness for this bird who is a bird from paradise. Of paradise, for commit it commit no sin, nor has reached the age of sin when someone can commit sin. He said, Aisha, for adventure, it might be the otherwise, because God created for paradise those who they are fit for it while they were in their father lions. So you commit sin or not, doesn't matter. It's a predestiny. This child did not commit sin, neither reach the age of sin. Muhammad don't agree he will go to heaven guaranteed because it might be the otherwise for Islam is a predestined destiny. So Islam is a fraud, your, your mind. Yeah, I got the point, I got the point. But the answer is the destiny, the, uh, if we talk about the destiny, we have to collect all the hadiths because this is not... No, don't bother me, don't bother me. All the hadith that should be consistent, and this is Sahih hadith. You're a prophet saying it clearly, it's about the child, there's no way more to play games, and that's why you don't want to, you want to skip it, you want to jump over it. You can bring all the hadith beside it. The child, he did not commit sin. He did not do any sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. So why it's possible he will go to heaven? And then you said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. who care about that hadith now? Is this hadith accurate or not? It is. Is it authentic? It is. It is sahih? It is. Who said that? Muhammad. How that can be true? A child who commit no sin, yet he will go to hell. Why? Because Allah decided to him before he was created, like Adam, 40 years before he created him, where he will be. So Islam is a stupid okay. cult. It doesn't matter if you commit sin or not. It doesn't I, matter if you pray or I, not. You will go to hell if Allah decides to do so. My dear, uh, my, yeah, yeah, to be honest, my dear brother, I have got the point. I have to study the hadith, this hadith. Mm. particularly okay because i have to theater study this habit. i shall study this habit then, then later on i shall answer no 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 you see no why you, what do you mean you need to study hold on hold on hold on i'm not giving you a book to study it's a few line hold on you see how this is how you escape the conversation because now we have a shot in the head, Muhammad proving to be false, and now you are saying to me i need to study this hadith take your time i'm listening go ahead study it go ahead yeah, of course, of course. I, I shall study this hadith now. I already, it does not mean, if I don't get the answer My now, friend, no, don't, don't, don't go, don't go. No, 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 you see, no because answer. here we go. So, the, so the, the second no we show you that Islam is a stupid cult, no, you said, I will no, study, no, me, I will let study. Let me, let me are you saying to me, are, me are you me, saying to me, what my prophet here, he said is very stupid. I need to study it. Are you saying that? It's not the case, my dear brother. So why why you are saying I need to study it? Because why you are getting so confused? Hold on. Because when you say to me, I showed you the first one, the second one, you did not say I need to study it. The, the second I shot you in the head, you say I need to study it. You are trying to run away from it because it's very simple to explain. I mean, there is no need to, there's no doubt about it. A child, he never commits sin. He never even reached the age of sin. Yet he might go. I said that I shall answer. 
Okay, where is the answer? I'm listening. No. Okay, I shall answer. Okay. I did not say I never. I will never answer. No, 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 no. no. I don't want you to shall answer. I want you to answer now. No. Is a child? Does it make sense? I am the one who asked you. As a child, if he did not commit sin, he's a child. He did not even talk. He died. Where he will go? You said to heaven. My dear brother, I, I already said mm. that I will answer after studying this. No, I no, 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 my friend. Answer. Study it now. We study okay. it together. We have time. So, uh, I have time. I will spend the whole month. I will spend the whole month of Ramadan, which is very flexible month, can be in July and August, in December and January. Listen, don't change the topic. You are in. You are in the dead spot, and this is why you are trying to escape it why this child he might go to hell you do not need to study much it's very simple why this child he might go to hell what is the explanation of your prophet okay let me explain this first of all god knows the future this is not the question what the future my friend what the future this child is dead already what the future you idiot this guy he have no future He's dead. He's a baby. Man, man. And you are talking about the future. Are you mentally ill? All of you Muslims, copy, paste, copy, paste, go to the future. Present it there. You are trying to intimidate Zakir Naik, and this is why you look like a joker. So you claim that you have knowledge in Islam, but the fact you are a joker, you are trying to escape, but you are like a turtle. Listen, you are like a turtle. My friend, I am not angry. I'm laughing. You are like a turtle. You are like a turtle who claim to be a deer. This is not how to discuss. You are a turtle who claim to be a deer. I'm asking you. The child have no future. Why you are mentioning to me, Allah know the future. One of us is a stupid here, either you or me. The child is dead. And you say to me, Allah knew the future. What's wrong with you? I, I did not give the full answer. No, you did. You said to me, Allah know the future. I ask you, I ask you why this child will go to heaven, why this child will go to hell. You said, Allah, we know Allah knew the future. What the future? The guy already dead. He is a child, he's a baby. He never reached the age of sin, never commits sin. So what the future? I got your point. I got your point, my dear brother. I did not say I did I did not understand. Okay, give me the answer. Then. So why this person, why this person okay. might go to hell? Give me the answer, please. We are adult, me and you. I want to have an, a clear answer from someone genius like you. Why this child deserve to go to hell? He commits sin not, did not even reach the age of sin. So why it's possible for him to go to hell? I will answer later. I already no, not later, not later, because the, uh, my friend, my friend, why, why you are saying, no, 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 the answer is there. Why you, why you don't read your prophet answer? Are you, are, you, are you ashamed of your prophet? Your prophet give the answer. My dear brother, listen, 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 did your prophet in the hadith give the answer or not? Why you don't want to accept your prophet answer? Are you saying your prophet is an idiot? His answer is not accepted? I already said I have not yet uh, studied this hadith. My friend, what a study? Do even this one need to study? Even this one need to study? My friend, did Aisha, when Muhammad, he said to her, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when Aisha, guys, when Muhammad, he said that to Aisha, when Muhammad, he said that to Aisha, did Aisha say to him, oh, oh, okay, I need to study this hadith. I mean, how silly what you are saying. So Muhammad said that to Aisha, and this is the final answer. So why you need to study it? He gave her the answer because Allah, he decide who go to heaven when or to hell when they are not created yet. They are in their in their father backbone, which is funny because sperm is not coming from the backbone, as the Quran said. And here we, we see the answer, but you are trying to avoid the answer which your prophet he gave because it's very embarrassing, showing that Muhammad is a fraud. He says something in the morning, he do something else at night. Now, I am asking you for the last time, please. Do you accept your prophet answer or you reject it? How many times shall I give the answer? I have to study this. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on. So you just I say it. Uh, guys, guys, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, guys, hold on. Hold, I will ask a shayok. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. I ask you. I ask you. No, no, no. Look what you did. Look what. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look, look, look the disaster you did. You just said. I, I, I. Listen. I just said to you. Do you accept your prophet? He said. He said no. I said. Do you accept your prophet answer? He said. I need to study it. So you don't, you are not, you are not believing that your prophet said something stupid like this. This is why you are saying, I need to study it. I do not, I don't accept it. It's embarrassing. 
So you are rejecting your prophet answer, and that's a great sign by calling me you left Islam, because either you accept what your prophet just said, and you say, yes, I accept it, or you say, I don't. Actually, you are forcing me to give the answer because I am not. I am. I already said that I am expert in Quran. Exactly. I am. I am not. I have not read all the hadiths about destiny. And you are forcing me to give the answer of this question. I already said I. I will ask a shayukh or I will study it and I will give that because I am not expert in hadith. I am expert in Quran. So, so you are forcing me, my dear brother, to give the answer. This is this is not the way how to discuss. This is not the way how to discuss. Okay, my friend, I'm not answering you. I'm forcing. I'm forcing adult talk. Either you are a kid who calling me no, to play no, games. No, so no, you see, again. you are playing now. Said, Look what happened in two seconds. In two seconds. In two seconds, you play like like the like the guy answer. like like the guy. His name is Sabil. You sound like Sabil, by the way. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not forcing you. You are the one who called me. Didn't you? So I'm asking you now why you want to skip. This is the topic. The top that this is the topic. This is the this is the topic. Why 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 okay why it's complicated, my friend. Why it's complicated? Now no no let me tell you, okay? One minute, let me tell you. I started the discussion with Sabil about the Quran. Okay. So now because from the past topic, you are driving another topic, another topic. No, it's not my. That's not other topic. It's not other topic. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Now I am going to say. Hold on. 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 Okay. Let Let us see how the way it is. Let me ask you. Let me. Let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If I say now the Quran is a fraud, is that me who said that or Allah He forced me to say that? This is a stupid question. Thank you. Okay. So, what's the answer? If I say Quran is a fraud, because, is it? Okay. Listen to me, listen to me. Uh -huh. Because all human beings have been given freedom of choice. Okay, so the answer is, the answer is what? So why you don't give me the answer? Why you don't give me the answer? Okay, let me repeat the question, Mr. 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 Bangladesh boy. Listen, I'm asking you, if I say, if I... That is gross Okay, hold on. Crazy, crazy people. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, don't waste my time. You see, I have many Muslims when I leave Islam waiting for me. Don't waste my time. I'm asking you. If I say, if I say, if I say the Quran, if I say the Quran is a book of a fraud, is that me who said that, or Allah forced me to say it? I said that we are given freedom of choice. This is not a question. I don't care. I don't care. I want no. I want an answer. Clear answer. If I say, don't repeat. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Don't repeat yourself, please. Don't repeat. I want yes or no. If I say the Quran is a book of the devil, is it me who said that or Allah forced me to say that? Okay. Let me get the answer from the Quran. I will get the answer. I want the answer. Yes or no first. Did I say that or Allah forced me to say? Uh, no, I want. Okay, you can give me. You can give me. You can give me scriptures as much as you want. That's another question. The question is, if I say the Quran is the book of the devil, if I, if I say either you say yes, it is Allah forced you, or you say no, you made your choice, and then you can give me whatever you want. If I say the Quran is the book of the devil, is it me by my choice who said that, or Allah forced me to say it? So Allah is forcing you to. Is Allah forcing you to say this? Allah is forcing me, guys. You hear it? What kind of question, nonsense question is this? So I don't know. I, I want an answer. I want. Question. I don't care. It makes sense or not for you. It makes okay. sense for me. So I guess he said that it makes sense. No, I'm not, okay. So why you don't give me the answer? Why you don't want to give me the answer? Why you don't want to give me the answer? My friend, no. Don't tell me what is my question. This is my question. What's wrong with you? Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you. In the Quran, chapter seventy. This is not the question. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, potato. Zakir Naik, no, I want an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. Stop. I, uh, if I say the Quran is the book, don't force me to hang up on you. Don't force me to hang up on you, please. 
Don't force me to hang up on you. No, I will not give you two minutes. I will give you five, I will give you five hours. I'm, I'm with you all the time. I will not hang up on you. But I want an answer. If I say the Quran is the book of the devil, is it me by choice who said that or Allah forced me? Either you say by choice or Allah forced you. Choose one. So my, my question will be, is Allah forcing you yet now? Forcing me, yes. To, uh, is Allah forcing me to say, is Allah forcing me to open my computer? Is Allah forcing me to open my computer, open a chat room, going live in YouTube, insulting Allah, exposing Muhammad? Is he forcing me or this was a personal choice? So this is Allah is forcing you now. Is Allah forcing you now? Uh, the question is for you, not to me. You answer. No, no, no. The, 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 my question is the answer. Uh, to your question. The question what's is wrong with you what's wrong with you guys i ask him a question he says uh, no that's my question this is my question for you why it, why it is hard to answer what's wrong with you when i open my computer i decide to go live on air decide to invoke is that arabic supposedly is that is that arabic or is he, since the beginning you start for me speaking arabic and i laugh Listen, listen, I want the answer. You see, guys, the cowardness of the skull. You see the cowardness of the skull. They, they avoid they avoid the answer. I'm asking you. Listen, don't force me to hang up on you. Don't force me talking machine, radio machine. You talk too much, you say nothing. I want an answer. I open my computer. I, I make a title to expose Islam today. I went live on air. Did I do that by my choice or it was Allah decide for me to do that? If, if you talk two minutes, let me give two minutes. Talk no, I want an answer. Either you say Allah forced you or say no, Allah did not force you. I mean, why it's so hard? Why you see, guys, when religion, when 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 something simple like this, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, coward! You are a coward. You are a coward. You don't dare even to answer a simple question. I'm asking you, can you please, friendly? I'm losing my voice. You idiot. Shame on you. I open my computer to insult Allah to expose him. Did I do that by choice or Allah forced me? Why it's so hard? Why this is need explanation? Why this is need a book? I want you to give me either you say yes, Allah forced you or Allah did not force you. Which one? So, uh, the answer is, is Allah forcing you? Now? You see the stupid question? Look, I am the one who asked the question. I am the one who asked you the question. Why you don't want to answer it? Is Allah forcing me? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> it's not my. I am the one who asked you the question. So look, guys. Okay, sh shut up. Shut up. Get lost. Get lost. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. I, I lost respect for you. Either you answer or I'm going to hack up on you. This is the last choice. What do you say? No, no, don't say something. I want the answer. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. And you know, you know, if you know that re the reason, no, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Guys, the reason he is not going to answer because it's very embarrassing. Isn't it clear? I mean, how simple is the question? Let me explain to you. Even this one need explanation. Cult, fraud. They cannot give you an answer. I'm spending the last 20 minutes repeating the same simple question. I open my computer. I say Muhammad is from the devil. Did I choose to do that or Allah forced me? He will not answer. He answered me, did Allah force you? <laughs> do you see the cowardly religion? The cowardly devil answer? The answer is no answer. For yes, according to Islam, Allah forced me to open my computer and to do poo, -poo on Muhammad. This is the answer, and this is why he don't want to answer. So what is the religion makes sense? If Allah is forcing me now to go and insult Muhammad, what this religion is about? 20 minutes repeating the same question, I lost my voice. And there's people, they say to me, why you go rude with, with Muslims? If you sit in my place, you will go crazy, actually. You will have a heart attack. I will call him back, and I will see if he will give you an answer. You will see he will not. He will never give an answer. For this is very embarrassing. <laughs> so the question again. Yeah, brother.
Don't call me brother. You are a liar because the Quran says, only the believers are our brothers. Take not Christians and Jews as a friend. Chapter 5, verse number 51. You are a liar and you've been exposed for calling me a brother when the Quran forbid you from calling a brother. Actually, the Quran forbid you from taking your own brothers as a brothers. So how you call me brother? But this is a different topic and we will spank you for it later. Now, I open my computer. I am speaking against Islam. Did Allah force me to speak against Islam or it was my choice? Let me, let me give the first answer. Let me give the first answer because you say that I cannot say brother. Let me give this. No, answer. don't change the topic now. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change. No, no, you cannot call me brother. No, you cannot call me brother. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Potato, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You can, you can, we can talk about it. You can talk about it. Shut up, shut up, you are a kid. You, how, how you respect yourself as an adult? Are you an adult? Are you an adult? Why you are escaping the topic? Why you are escaping the topic? Why you are escaping the topic? No, I open my computer. I open my computer. I open my computer. Coward. Let me get the answer of this question because you are claiming something that is against Quran. First of all, I want you to answer my question and then you can, and then you can show me what you are talking about. Is that okay? Are you? Let, me, let me give the answer of the, of the first, first point you have said. In the Quran, chapter 60, verse number 8, it is mentioned the lie and hakum allahu anil ladina lam yukatilukum fit din, walam yukhrijukum min diarikum and tabaruhum, or to sit with him in Nobahi Hippul Allah does not forbid you to deal justly, kindly with those who fought, fought not against you on account of religion did not drive you out of your homes but Allah loves those who deal with equality and justice and this verse and this verse and this verse is abrogated this is number one this verse is abrogated secondly you stupid idiot that verse is about Aisha receiving this verse is about Aisha Muhammad is a person Muhammad is a person who want to receive Muhammad he want to receive Muhammad he want to receive this, 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 this verse is abrogated and the verse and the and the verse in the front of you shut up shut up shut up son of muta shut up Ch quran chapter 58 verse number 22 it says you cannot take your brothers as a friend you liar you're a brother from your family this is quran read read it Read it. Read it. Read it, and let everybody laugh at you. Read it. Read it, and read it, and laugh and laugh with me. I am not your brother. Okay, my friend. Hold. Oh, okay. Okay. You. You. Shut up, you coward. You will never answer any of my questions. Don't call me again. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a son of Muta. You are not a man. You are not a brave. And you change the topic like a monkey. The Quran says, "Take not Christian and Jews as a friends." You, so you can take them as a, as a brother, you coward. If you cannot even take me as a friend, how you can take me as a brother? Stupid. The Quran, chapter 58, verse number 22, it says you cannot take your own brother and your father, real father, from your blood as a friend. You coward, you liar. The verse you quote for me, it was about the, the, the mother of Aisha bringing a gift for her. She asked him, can I receive this gift? From someone don't believe? He said yes, and he gave her this verse because it was about a money coming to Muhammad. He's a fraud. But then Muhammad, he said, that take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Chapter 3, verse 28, it says the same. And the one who do that, he have no connection with Allah. He is one of them. You are a coward and you are a liar. And you are laughing at yourself. And until now, I'm waiting for my answer. I open my computer, I expose Allah. Is that order from Allah forcing me or my choice? You will not answer that. You know the answer? Because yes, Allah forced me. And that is showing that Islam is nothing but a fraud. Oh, who you believe take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors or even helpers. And you are calling me brother, you coward liar. So I can be your brother, but I cannot be your friend. I can be your brother, but I am not even your protector. You see the stupidity of those people? They think by talking like a talking machine, they can overcome the truth. <laughs> you laugh like a... those women who stand in the corners in the Middle East, in the middle of the night, in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca. 
all who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as a friends and if you do you are one of them you are what you are one of them and if any among you take them as awliya then surely he is one of them do you see it guys have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this before do you think if I call him back for the third time, he will answer me about why Allah is forcing me to open my computer and expose him? Do you think he will answer? He will not, right? Why he will not answer? Because it's embarrassing. The answer, yes, Allah, he forced me, according to Islam. Not according to me. According to me, no. I am I am spanking Allah by my free will. <laughs> so according to the stupid cult of Islam, Allah forced me to open my computer, laugh at Muhammad, have more than 1,000 or whatever people listening, laughing at Muhammad and his teaching, and then Allah will punish me for forcing me to do this. And this is exactly what happened with Adam. Allah, he, he forgives Adam the sin which he made him do. <laughs> and just to make it more funny, Muhammad, he said, if you don't commit sin and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah will kill you all. And he will replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. Look how funny it is. So he for us to commit sin. And then if we don't ask for forgiveness of sin, he will kill us. Have you ever heard of a garbage cult like this cult? I'm going to call him for the last time and see if he is brave to answer. And by the way, we can go and talk about the friends, the one you are talking about. But I want the answer for this one. You are being a coward. Last time call. Either you answer or go. So are you going to answer my friend? I'm losing my patience with you. Are you going to answer? Brother, uh, Did Allah force me? Did Allah force me? Did Brother, Allah? No, uh, don't don't tell me. My phone is ringing. No, no. The answer is very simple. Okay, either you say yes or no. My 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 phone is going to off. There is no uh, charge. It is uh, seven percent. It will be off now. Okay, you can so call me. I shall call after charging. No okay? problem. No so problem. Okay, okay, okay. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. After charging. Okay, yeah. After okay. yeah. After charging. Yeah. You need to search Go. Yeah. <laughs> you need to search go. <laughs> this is what happened when you talk to Christian prince. Allah Himself need to search go. I mean, he need to charge the phone and there's no charger. Have you ever heard of a stupid even excuse? He need to charge the phone and there's no charger, so he's going to charge it now. But he don't have a charger. Have you ever heard of somebody he have a phone but he don't have a charger? He, he does. He take it, he put it in the in, in the Quran. In the morning, brother, the, the phone will be wirelessly charged by Allah. Even their excuse is dummy and funny. Silly. Like the other guy in the other day, he said to me, uh, uh, I need to go and uh, bring water or something. Drink water, right? He forgot his phone, his microphone opened, the stupid. He muted my speaker instead of muting his microphone. He thought by muting my speaker, we cannot hear him no more. And he was talking to the guy next to him to search Google to find the hadith. And then after 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I said to him, okay, so did you drink water? He said, yes, yes. <laughs> All this time they are talking, he did not move anywhere. <clears throat> so this religion not only does not make sense, it's a stupid to the point. Even a stupid person cannot accept it. This is why I always say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Not how foolish, how fool. Because that will make, because you know, foolish can be an act, a behave temporarily. Fool, he's a fool. The person who believes in the fool Muhammad, he must be a fool to the bones. How fool are you? They spend their life 
studying stupidity. You see, for me, when I was doing my law degree, the sheikhs never answer any questions. The only question they are excited about, if a woman, she asks him, if a guy, he is in love with me, and we want to hold hands, is it okay? Suddenly, the sheikh is so excited, he want to talk about it. Suddenly, he's so powerful. Suddenly, he want to school us about ethnic and, you know, the prophet, he went to his own son and he flirted with the wife when she is married to the husband. Her son from adoption. Suddenly they are about ethic. Any silly question is welcome. Tadadam, 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 tadadam. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> uh, yes, sister. Uh, brother, uh, yesterday I was taking off my clothes in the front of the fish tank. And my sister, she told me that the fish are shaking. And she was making it in a very, 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 you know what I'm talking about, in a sound like the guy, he was sweating. The other guy was drinking water. <clears throat> okay, sister. I think, sister, well, Iyazu Billah, sister, the fish in your tank, they have a genie. And they are male genie. And they are looking at your beautiful pure body look at this answer and look at this whore how many muslims are getting holy now the way she was reciting is speaking i mean it's it's obviously she's a prostitute and the sheikh he was sweating and then he said to her you should not i advise you she said when i take off my clothes i notice and she my sister noticed with me the fish are shaking the guy he said uh uh I, I think, sister, that's what's happening, that those fish, they have a, a genie. And I advise you not to take off your clothes in the front of the, at the, the fish tank. And then she said, but I have only one room. Look how sad the story. He said, okay, sister, uh, uh, what about you put it like a, a blanket in the top of the fish tank when you take uh, your clothes off? I mean, do you see how serious the topic is? Millions of Muslims watching a very serious program. A girl, she noticed that fish are masturbating when she take off her clothes. And what is happening? There's a genie inside the fish. Isn't it, this is the most fishy, stupid religion ever? TV station called millions, cost millions. Every day to, 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 to run it costs a lot of money. People, they're getting paid to answer those questions. They have a salary, they have cars. Another guy, he called, he says, me and my fiancé, alhamdulillah, we are going to marry next month, but alhamdulillah, I really, we are happy together, but we have a problem. The sheikh, he said, okay, brother, what is the problem? He said, we ate from the same ice cream. And Islam says, if I, we eat, drink from the same uh, uh, milk, she became my sister. Is it true that she became my sister? Look how serious the question. Another guy, he called, he says, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Brother, there's no uh, shame in religion. Muslim believe there's no shame. So which you can call and ask about your penis, about your vagina, call, whatever you want. So uh, he said, uh, yesterday I was doing hulululu, you know what hulululu, with my wife and I did suckle her nipples. And then a drop of milk from her nipples swallowed by me. Is she became my sister now, brother? I mean, the guy is married to the woman. He have 10 kids from her. And now because he have some drop of milk in his mouth, she became his sister. This is Islam which they don't want you to see. I wish all of you can watch Arabic TV. They are the most hilarious, stupid TV ever. I used to just watch them for, for fun. You know, like I'm bored, I wanna laugh, you know? I just put it, uh, all Christian in the Middle East, they watch Islamic TV just to laugh. Because this is our language, we understand it, we laugh at it. But you cannot go in the street and laugh about it, they will kill you. Once I called a TV station program, 
And you know, those Muslims, the second you say to him, pray on the Prophet, they start to repeat, Salli ala Nabi. Allahumma salli wa sallam. They have to make like, you know, they have to repeat the prayer. I said to them, pray on the Prophet. Pray on the Prophet. So I called them. I said, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I said, the brother, Salli ala Nabi. Allahumma salli wa sallam. We pray on the Prophet. He repeat after me. Allahumma pray on Muhammad. And then he said, more prayer on the Prophet. And I said, okay, and more Prophet. But guys, three, four, five minutes, I'm saying the same sentence. More prayer, please, on the Prophet. And they are repeating me like puppies because nobody dare to say, stop being stupid. What is the question? They don't dare. Who dare to say to somebody, he is saying, pray on the Prophet. Stop. So I keep repeating, saying, pray on the Prophet. And more prayer on the Prophet. And I have people, I have people in my house, they are dying from laughing. I'm trying to stop them from laughing because they will be heard. Then everybody will know we are just laughing at them. They don't dare, and I could not take it no more. I hang up because they are laughing. They are dying laughing. Not a single one said to me, please, what is the question, man? I mean, come on, we got it to pray on the Prophet, but who dare? If he said that, they will kill him. They said, the guy is saying to you, praying the Prophet, you stop him? Huh? Did you do that? You cannot do that. This is Muhammad, this God. And this is the potato. He will not answer anything. Suddenly, he know nothing. He want to study everything. This is what happened when you call a Christian prince. And now you have a tattoo in your bum. Mr. What's your name? I need to post this name in uh, in Patreon so people they can put his name in the top of the video. So S A N U R. Okay, hold on. Let me type it for you. So those who want to quote the video later, you need a name, right? This guy he is like he. I think he 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 decided to tell me his real name because supposedly he thought he would be proud about this conversation. He do not know what is going to come after. S A N U A R A R U L. And his last name is Islam. I don't know what does that mean. Is that a real name? S A N U A R U L. Islam. I don't know what his real name is. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> and the funny he have a picture of him. It says behind him, science in uh, the, the Department of Politi Political Science. <laughs> anyway, guys, did we have a good time? Uh, this video became so long, and I wasn't expecting to go for that long on on on, on air. But I'm really I miss you all. I was in a like a, a trip I have to do not vacation some people they go I, you know people like us don't have vacation vacation maybe for the wealthy or rich you know for us if we get a vacation it's going to be something totally different so I'm really happy to have you all I pray to the Lord that's all of us we will learn educate ourselves and the Muslim will see the truth and the truth will set them free sometime I might go uh, tough but as you see our topic is tough and we are dealing with the devil not with, with the flesh those people are poor we know I, I i'm not angry from this person i feel sorry for him he think there's a god his name is allah if he kisses a stone you go to heaven if you kill some christian and jews and then he called me brother either he is a, a liar he knew he's lying deceiving playing taqiyya or he did not know and mostly he knew sadly that's why i feel sorry for them they knew that they are lying now let me remind you this is my book the link is in the info down there this is a new translation or the translation for my book deception of allah in the basha language so if you're indonesian please download the the book and share the link with your friends that everybody download and read it's full of information you never heard before very important to have in every house you can print it in your house but please it's not for sale it's meant to be for free for free for my beloved indonesian muslims and christians we love the muslims that's why we want to support them and i wish i can do more 
I wish I can speak to every single Indonesian Muslim to see the truth that he is following a false god and hell is waiting and the gate of hell is wide and many they will go there. There is nobody can save you, my friend, except the Messiah, the Lord, the Savior. His name is a glory. His act is holy. He said to the Jews, who of you can prove me a sinner? While the Quran confirmed that Muhammad was the biggest fraud ever, to the point even his followers accused him of his stealing underwear. I mean, imagine if the disciple of Jesus accused Jesus of stealing such a thing. What kind of a quality of those are the best people of Islam, the disciple of Muhammad, if we can call them disciple, companion, accusing their leader of his stealing underwear. And until now, it's not to be found. And the funny Allah, he made a verse about it, but he did not tell us where it is, because obviously it is over the bum of Muhammad. I mean, people accuse Muhammad to be stealing underwear. Shouldn't you tell us where we can find it so people will you so you can clear Muhammad's name? No, he said it's not Muhammad who did it. <laughs> Which is obviously proof that Muhammad he did it. <laughs> anyway, guys, may the Lord bless you all. Don't forget to download the video. It takes some time, 20 minutes or even longer. Uh, if the video is long to be ready and after that you can download the video with this i leave you with the peace of christ he gave you peace he is the peace and he said i will be with you forever every two of you mention my name i will be between them i will be the third he is here with us he's listening to us he feels sorry for those muslims and the sorrow of god is the hell of man which mean when god he feels sorry for you that means you are going to hell you better be careful for hell is big and waiting and there's no mercy the messiah who came first time with mercy second time there's no mercy for you've been served you've been told you've been told even he gave his life for you so what is missing the missing that you chose adulteress like muhammad a fornicator a cheater a liar a thief a criminal, a child molester, name one crime in this world can be considered as ugly, disgusting, and Muhammad did not do. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian prince who have been forced by Allah, according to Islam, to insult Allah and expose him and spank him. So all thanks to Allah for what he did. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye.